Today I'm going to be doing a review of the X-Star D36 5800 dive light. The light comes with this carrying case, a proprietary battery pack, user manual, extra o-ring, lanyard, and a power supply. Now the light itself is actually two lights in one. It has a wide angle LED and a spotlight. The wide angle is rated for 4200 lumens and the spotlight is rated for 1600 lumens and together they'll give you your 5800 total lumens for the 5800 rating. There's also a standard tripod mount on the bottom so you can mount the light to a tripod, your strobe arm, or I even have a, a pistol grip that I like to put it on. The yeah, battery pack is keyed so it'll only go in in one direction. So there's two buttons. If I press the button on the left that'll show me that the battery is at 50% and the light is currently unlocked. If I press the button on the right, that's going to power the light on to the floodlight. And on the display, it's going to show me an icon representing the floodlight in the upper left. It still shows me the battery's at 50% power. And since the battery's only 50% power, I have 35 minutes left at 4200 lumens. And if I press the button on the left, that's going to power through the different intensities. So now it's running at 2100 lumens and now it's running at 1200 lumens and now it's back to full power. If I press the button on the right that's going to now switch to the spotlight and at the spotlight the icon changed on the top and that's running at 1600 lumens and at the spotlight it can power through different intensities as well. After the spotlight is the dual mode where both the spotlight and the floodlight turn on. That's going to be the brightest setting and at full power, you'll get about a 45 minute runtime. And now the light goes off. And then when I did testing at the floodlight with a fully charged battery, it's rated for, I think, 74 minutes. But the light never stepped down to about 55 minutes. So it ran nice and bright all the way to about 55 minutes where it's finally started to step down in brightness. But at, at the floodlight at 4200 lumens, it is very bright. Let's go do some more testing. Okay, we're here to do the first test, the X-Star D36-5800. Then we'll uh, do a pull test and take it diving. But here's the uh, wide angle mode. This is the spotlight. And the dual mode, both the spotlight and wide angle. And off. Here's wide angle. That's going to be in high, medium, low, and then high. Spotlight. Medium, low, high. Okay, so now more of a distance shot. In the wide angle mode, it's going to light up the whole area around me, but it can't reach those far garages. But in spotlight, that's where we're going to get some distance. And here's the dual mode. A lot of light. Everything's lit up around me, but we're also getting the distance. All right, let's go do a dive. I'll be using the X-Star in the wide mode as my video light tonight, but I can also switch to the spotlight when I'm looking for critters or not doing video.
Awesome dive and I really liked the light. It was useful to be able to switch between the different modes. The turbo with both the wide and the spot is very nice, but I really liked it as a video light. It's much brighter than the light I've been using. I now have a new favorite video light. Let me show a couple more features that I didn't show earlier. Okay, so to access the strobe, hold down the button on the left until the strobe kicks on, and then the light will flash in the strobe or SOS mode. And the other thing I didn't show was the lock feature. If you hold the button down on the right, you'll see it's flashing and the lock's unlocked, but then it'll turn locked and now you can let go. And then now the light will be locked so it won't accidentally turn on in your dive bag. And to unlock it, here I just press buttons, it won't turn on. To unlock it, you need to hold the button down on the right again until it kicks back on. So that's it. Um, the next screen will show you some of the dive light specs. Thanks for watching.